Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian. If you're new here and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, Soul Nation. You are smashing today, and I appreciate you checking out this video. Now, forgive my voice. I've had a cold. I've been kind of fighting it, uh, and so my voice might sound a little bit deeper, uh, which is not a bad thing overall, but uh, just note that in other videos, I might sound a little bit different. So welcome to the channel again if you're new. So let's go ahead and dive in. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your controller for New World. Now, New World is saying that they're going to officially support controller at some point in the future. We do not have an ETA on that. I will keep you guys up to date on those changes. So be sure to keep it locked here to the channel for more information about that. But let's go ahead and dive into the guide. I want to get you in, get you playing this game. And honestly, I think uh, controller play works really well considering, you know, where we are with this game. So I don't think we're that far off from a few changes that I would like to see made that will make overall controller play a little bit easier. But first and foremost, you're going to begin in Steam. You want to click on New World in uh, in your games, go to Properties, and then the uh, pop-up menu is going to pop up on my other screen in this case. You want to go to Controller, and you want to say Enable Steam Input. You have Disable, Use Default Settings, and Enable Steam Input. I'm setting it to that. And I am using an Xbox One or an Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. So before you can actually start using your controller, and I'll go over that here in a bit, you want to go into the game and you want to press Tab and Shift to bring up your controller configuration menu within Steam. It's not being captured as a part of this guide, but in the upper right hand corner, you'll see controller configuration as a link. And then it's going to bring up this menu, which essentially will allow you to configure the rest of your controller. Now I'll just go through it. I've got the left trigger, left trigger right here, as the right mouse button. The the left mouse button is set to the right trigger. I have LB1, L1 and R1, or L bumper, left, you know, these the bumper buttons. They're set to middle mouse for this side because that's how I've got it mapped, and I'll show you guys that here in a second. And I have it set to E, which is my interact and then get basically engage button in this regards. I've got my tab set to my select button, which is my inventory. I've got my main menu set to my start button, also acting as my escape key. Then I have the moving of the character, uh, left of WASD. And then where it says sprint here as left shift, that's actually a new world set to a dodge. I have the D-pad set as one, two, three, four. And I'll go through those mappings here in a little bit. My right stick is my right mouse or, you know, my, <laughs> my joystick, etc. Then I have FRQ as X, Y, B, FRQ. And then A is my space button as my jump button. So in game, let's go ahead and show this off. Uh, obviously, I do want to point out that I am using the chat pad for the Xbox. This does allow me to interact and use like very, like all the different chat commands and things like that. So if I want to press map, I can do so. So it gives me a lot of shortcuts right at my finger. But at the end of the day, if I just like I'll shoot my weapon itself and kind of be moving around. This is essentially how it works in terms of movement. It feels really good and smooth while playing the game itself. I can hold down the right trigger. I'll just go ahead and bring up my weapon with the up pad. And then I can hold down with the, the left trigger, bring up my shield in this case with sword or whatever your left trigger is going to do. Right trigger is going to act as that attack. And then you can hold it down for the, the heavy attack itself. My skills are all going to be mapped to the face buttons. I don't have a skill yet in my Q skill. And then my jump is going to be mapped right here. So that's going to be kind of how your basics attacks work. But let's go ahead and put this all into action kind of work through uh the level itself and not <laughs> hit the camera too much all right i'm going to go ahead and attack this guy if i want to dodge i can press down on the stick as a click and that's going to allow me to dodge and get out of you know obviously get out of the danger to interact i can press uh, our bumper and be able to pull up you know anything and interact with anything on the screen and then my right stick is going to then act as a as a mouse cursor it's a little bit too sensitive if you don't <laughs> you don't mind my opinion so i'm going to keep playing around with adjustments and i'll let you guys know if i kind of find the perfect you know balance let's go through our settings and let's talk about our key binds here not a lot has changed from the default but i have made a few changes i've set the swap weapons to one because they originally were taking up basically the up and the right key as one and two and i moved my consumables to two three and four to so to the the you know right down and, and left buttons accordingly so that way I have a lot more flexibility. I have moved my, I turned on auto run to the middle mouse button, which this is why I mapped that to left bumper. So if I close out of this here, I can show you. I'm just tapping on that. It's going to have myself start auto running and we're good to go. It's pretty, it's pretty keen. It's pretty straightforward and hopefully feels really comfortable to play this game. 
uh, and just interact with the world. Now you still need a mouse and keyboard to do a lot of the functions, but they have said that they are planning on adding full controller support down the road. We just don't have a full ETA on that. And so I'll be sure to keep it locked or keep it locked here for more updates, news, guides, and more regarding this game. And I'll be sure to let you guys know as the game develops and more is to come for New World. If you guys have any questions, sound off in the comments below or come hang out on stream. You can hang out with us on twitch.tv slash work to game, or you can hang out with me when I randomly stream here on Ginger Prime. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you have a fantastic day. Hope to see you in my next video. And anybody who's hit that join button recently, you are amazing. Thank you so much for supporting me and my family directly. I hope to see you guys into my next video. But until then, take care. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and if you're listening to this voice you are a special person and i really do appreciate it if you feel like watching more youtube's got its recommendations for you on the screen otherwise i hope to see you soon bye